The vibratory hammer machine is the wonder boy of construction engineers. How is this machine able to penetrate piles into the strong soil with the ease of a knife cutting through butter? The answer lies in the genius of this machine, as well as the strange behavior of soil when it vibrates. You can easily imagine what would happen to the soil particles if the pile was vibrating. When vibrating, the skin friction value between the soil and pile is less than the normal value. What's even more interesting is that when you change this vibrating frequency, the skin friction value varies. At one particular frequency, the frictional value becomes the lowest. We should target this frequency for easy penetration of the piles. If you look more closely at the soil particles, you'll notice that they're exhibiting vortices, a kind of motion similar to fluid behavior. This region is known as the fluidized zone of soil. Yes, the soil behaves exactly like a fluid due to the vibrations. This extreme low resistance is the reason why a vibratory hammer that is simply hanging on a rope is able to penetrate the soil. The weight of the vibro hammer is sufficient to penetrate into the ground in this fluidized state. Now it's time to understand how the vibratory hammers are able to produce such powerful vibrations. To clearly understand the engineering behind this machine, we enlisted the help of 3D Experience SolidWorks for Makers, a new, affordable way to use SolidWorks for personal projects and more, now available for just $38 US per year. Click the link in the video description below to purchase the Maker Offer now and get a 20% discount. Let's keep exploring the Vibro Hammers. Can you tell what will happen if this disc with eccentric mass rotates? The centrifugal force produced by the eccentric mass can cause vibrations in this system. This vibration will be throughout this plane or in two axes. Let's fit this mass in a vibro hammer and, using SolidWorks Motion Study, let's check out what happens. You can see the vibro hammer is oscillating in two axes, as expected. Do you have a solution to convert the vibration to one axis? All you need to do is introduce one more mass, this time rotating in the opposite direction. Please observe the net force produced by this new design at four different instances. You can see that the horizontal components of the force are always getting canceled at all the instances. Thus, one component of vibration is canceled out producing a unidirectional vibration. SolidWorks Motion Study also confirms the same result. That's perfect. This unidirectional vibration will be able to penetrate the soil easily. However, at the start and close of the machine's operation, we need a low amplitude vibration. Can you think of a solution to control the amplitude of vibration? The trick is to just mirror this pair horizontally as shown. Let's find out the resultant centrifugal force produced by the new design. Here, the force produced by the top pair is exactly opposite to that of the bottom pair. That means all the vibration will be canceled out in this case, or this will be a zero amplitude vibration case. This is confirmed by the SolidWorks motion study as well. What will happen if the top pair is in a different phase angle? A 180 degree angle difference compared to the previous case. Obviously, here, both the vibrations will get added up, and the amplitude of the vibration will be the maximum. Now, let's consider the third case. Here, the top pair is between the angles of the first two cases. The force analysis shows that the oscillating force is half the amplitude of the first case. That means here, the amplitude of vibration will be having a medium value for sure. When the operator wants to control the amplitude of vibrations, he's in fact changing the phase angle on the top eccentric masses. Such vibro hammers are known as variable moment vibro hammers. All these eccentric masses are driven by a hydraulic motor. This illustration clearly shows how a single hydraulic motor drives all these eccentric masses of a variable moment vibratory hammer. The hydraulic motor used in this case is an axial piston motor. This is a bent axis type motor. The way the motor works is a pleasure to watch. 
As you can see, the high pressure liquid is able to push and move the pistons. This linear movement finally gets converted into rotary motion thanks to the bent axis. This is a variable moment vibratory hammer. The details of a normal vibratory hammer is illustrated here. In a normal vibro hammer, there are only two eccentric masses. Both are driven again by a single hydraulic motor. The details of the clever spring arrangements in this machine are visible here. Their duty is to isolate the remaining part of the machine from the vibration of the main head. Interestingly, the bottom end of the vibrating head is also fixed. This is possible thanks to this long rod. The bottom plate and the long rod are fixed to the stationary top part. In short, only the middle portion vibrates and the surrounding is isolated from the vibration. The hydraulic motor receives the high pressure liquid from a hydraulic power pack. This unit contains an electric motor, hydraulic pump, and oil tank. You can even see the electronics control of the hydraulic power pack. Eventually, the high pressure liquid reaches the hydraulic motor via hoses. The jaw of the vibratory hammer is also hydraulically powered. I have built a humble vibro hammer with help of two vibrating electric motors when i apply weight of this machine on the soil nothing is happening the scale is just bending now let's start the vibration remember no pushing down just self weight of the machine wow did you see that the soil is behaving like a butter. That's the magic of vibro hammers. The vibro hammer machines are also used for extracting the piles. The principle of operation is again the same. When the soil is in the fluidized state, it offers very low resistance. They have several advantages compared to the impact pile hammers. However, if the soil is highly dense or it has many obstructions, the impact pile hammers are the right choice. Theory of vibration is a difficult subject to master. However, with the help of SOLIDWORKS motion study, we were able to do a lot of fun vibration studies. And they matched with the real experiments. It was a real treat to play with these models. Before you click off this video, don't forget to download the VibroHammer SolidWorks model and play with it. Thank you.